Hello, I'm David Hester, and this is the Bible Health 101 show number 29. And today we're going to talk about the glycemic index, okay? And uh, as I said yesterday, the glycemic index is another good indicator of whether a carbohydrate is simple or complex. So let's uh, let's take a look at this and uh, and you know and see what's going on, okay? The uh, glycemic index, okay, basically measures how rapidly a carbohydrate is converted to glucose or fuel for the body, okay? And uh, a high number on this uh, this chart is is associated with the simple carbohydrate. Uh, it means that the uh, conversion to sugar is very fast, very qu quick, very rapid, okay? The uh, the highest number on the glycemic index is 100, and that represents pure glucose, okay, pure sugar. And uh, then we have, uh, like, like low glycemic foods would be, uh, are, are, are good for us because they, they provide a steady supply of glucose over several hours, and uh, therefore that's the, these these uh, low glycemic foods keep your energy levels at a constant rate, and you don't really have uh, food cravings. Okay, and these are the good carbohydrates, and these are the ones that uh, that that should be the uh, majority of your diet. Okay, then you have the high glycemic foods uh, like uh, donuts and candy and sodas and Basically, uh, the results of these types of uh, high glycemic foods are the uh, the rapid release of glucose. Okay, so our, our blood sugar levels soar, soar uh, uh, you know, right up uh, right after we uh, right after we eat these types of foods, and uh, you know, um, they they, uh, they cause the release of serotonin, okay, in the brain that, that gives you that that, uh, that feel good high, but right afterwards, uh, insulin gets dumped into our bloodstream and, uh, you know, causing our uh, our blood sugar levels to to drop, and uh, it drops really fast, it drops really low, and so you're you're left feeling uh, tired and fatigued, and you're still craving to have that high one more time, so. Uh, you know, if this process of eating these high glycemic foods and having your blood sugar go up and down and up and down, you know, uh, is not stopped, uh, the uh, the release of insulin can actually uh, be damaged, and uh, that that brings us to adult onset diabetes. Okay, and so the the, the pancreas also gets overworked. Uh, because it's it's continuously having to produce insulin, and and, and you know finally the uh, the high blood sugar levels stimulate uh, the the production of molecules called AGEs. Okay, advanced glycation end products. Okay, uh, which are known to uh, be uh, reflective of of how fast we age. Now, to kind of end this up. Let me give you some common sense tips, okay, on how to consume your carbohydrates, okay? First of all, slow release, low glycemic, complex carbohydrates like vegetables, whole grains, beans are the best choice, okay? There's two reasons for this, okay? You're not going to spike your blood with so much sugar, uh, so the body's not required to produce a lot of insulin in a short amount of time, okay, and uh, and secondly, they uh, they contain a lot of fiber, okay, which is basically it's necessary for our overall good health, okay, but fiber helps prevent things like colon and rectal can cancer. It uh it uh, it binds with oils or fats and and helps them to get eliminated uh, from our body. Now, simple carbohydrates like uh, high fiber fruits are good for you if you need a quick energy boost, okay? Like uh, if, if you're about to go on a short duration athletic event or uh, when you're tired but you've got to keep working a little bit longer, see? Uh, but but otherwise, uh, you know, these, these simple carbohydrates need to be consumed in conjunction with or 
right directly after uh, other foods like proteins and fats and and your complex carbs so this is going to help uh, balance the amount of sugar that gets released into your blood all right so the last two videos have been some basic information on uh, carbohydrates today we covered the glycemic index uh, in our next video I will be talking about diabetes this is definitely information that you're not going to want to miss if you have any questions or comments please uh, feel free to post them below the video either on YouTube or at my website I will answer those questions um, by way of email or on the web page or by creating another video and uh, you know you can visit my website at www.biblehealth101.com and uh, I have loads of information uh, for you about uh, health and wellness so thanks so much for listening to the show today and God bless you